right. Back out here today, man. It's been a while. Um, I'm going to put the cylinder head on today. I still got the other one. I got to put springs on and all that still. You guys see me do a lot of that. So here's the head gasket I'm going to be using. It's 1094 from Felt Pro. Felt Pro, not Felt Pro. Velcro, that's for my shoes because I don't know how to tie shoes. And they're 15 thou thick. They're just basically a metal shim. And the reason I'm going with such a thin one is because I want more compression. Remember in some of my, in my other video that um, my ring gaps were kind of big. You know, the cylinders kind of wore out. This will help me bring my compression up a little bit again. Or, you know, help compensate with that. Bring my compression up a little bit too. I think these are like 9... 9.4 to 1 compressions. I'm not positive. Hopefully get her up a little bit close to 10. We'll, when we get it all built, we'll do the pressure test on the cylinders. See how hot it is. When you're using these, they have a brush on or a spray on. You'll we'll spray this down real good. Set it on, set the motor, or set the head on. So I'm going to spray this. And uh, see what it looks like here in a second. All right, we got the thing sprayed with the copper spray. Uh, make sure you kind of wash that off with uh, brake cleaner. Get any type of oil off that gasket. And let that stuff stick to it. Do a couple couple thin coats. I like doing some spray paint. You can tell, man, it don't look like this is clean or smooth, but, I mean, I didn't have any of this stuff decked down or milled or anything. You know, this is just a straight, generic rebuild. But uh, getting a little more horsepower with the cam and all that stuff I'm putting in there and bigger springs. So I'm going to set the head on there, and then I'm going to bring you back for the other, with the head bolts and all that stuff because uh, I forgot my stand at home. All right, I got the head bolts sitting in there. There's going to be three sizes. Short ones, medium shorties, and longer ones. Or longer shorties. Here, how about that one? There you go. So, the long ones will go in all the middles. Right here. Your two short ones. It's right here. Right out here. Um... The mid shorties, as you can see, they sit down farther than what these do. There's only two of them, and then the longer ones in between each rocker studs, and then three in between the valve springs. Um, they've got Teflon, or I wouldn't should say Teflon tape. It's a thread seller that come already on them. I thought about already putting some in there on it, but I didn't. These bolts go through water jackets, every one of them. So it's got to have some thread sealer on it, or you'll have antifreeze making it past. No. So before I put this head on and everything, I did clean the block surface, the head surface. I, I, I scrubbed them real good. All that black stuff's just... In some of the in the perfections or imperfections of the block and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get my torque wrench out. I'm gonna get these uh, all started down and start torquing them. I do three steps: 25, 45, and 65, and then I follow the uh, Uh, torque sequence and then uh, I'll throw that up there with uh, the uh, torque specs and whatnot all right I already did my um, passes here 
I'm on the final, final one. And it's gonna be a good one. Over six. Over seven. Over eight. Get on there. Number 17. I'll torque that into 65. Um, on this, on the torque wrenches, see if we can get her to zoom in here. See the number 65. Come on. There. Well, I don't know. She may not zoom in there. Well, anyways, there's a 65. Got a little arm that comes out there. You can see it now. And then it goes down to another little flat spot. Uh-oh. Guess what? I wasn't that 65. I'm a half a pound off. So, now it's at 65. I was at six, uh, 59 and a half. So, so now I need to go back. Zeroed right at 65. All right, I got that head on. I uh, was saying on the torque was uh, 59 and a half. I was wrong. I was at 64 or 65 foot pounds, but I was at half a pound off, so it was 64 and a half pounds. So I just went up to 65, ran through, and just checked them all. And I just checked them all again. And uh, they're all tight at 65 now so and then when I come back out I'll check them one more time so you can see that copper oozing through everything yeah I mean it, it oozed up out of here real good there's a big old man it looked like I almost put silicone right there to seal that corner up you can see there's it's oozed up out of there so man, that it's that stuff's gonna work for some good sealer. And it's a high temp. Well, I gotta go over here and start putting valves in on this head. I got in the trash can. Oh my lens is dirty or what? Just not wanting to focus in. I don't know why. There she goes. I'll get the air gun out and blow it out into the trash can, and I'll take it over here and start putting valves in so I can get her set up on there. Um, I bought the uh, 
intake gaskets, man. And they're for the 350, uh, the older ones, or the Vortec. It's their dual purpose, basically. Uh, I think I might have this one upside down, backwards. Let's see. Am I right? All right. Yeah, it's upside down, backwards. Look at that. Now I get gasket met. You know, gasket match this, but I ain't worried about the water jackets, but the intake and everything, man, I ain't really going to worry about, you know, that much. I'm not worried. I'm not doing it. I'm not gasket matching the intakes. Kind of should, you know, wanted to, but I don't think I will, you know, get her up there and then when I tighten thing down it should push down a little bit and then we'll sit right there on the uh thing so yeah i like these they're how uh, felt felt pro i believe yeah they're felt pro too let me see what's part number at 1255 intake gaskets small block vortex and they're for carbureted intakes so and it's could be used for your standard 350s uh, I'm pretty sure on it well I'm gonna get this head out of there get these valves installed so I can get uh get this one set on there get it torqued on there so I can let these set overnight and then I come back try to come out torque them over again see I got these and I bought these intake ones but they're for just a standard with a non vortex kit uh 350 400s 380 thing they fit all kinds 262 65 67 83 302 305 307 372 350 400 so, let's see 1975 85 yeah i don't know why i bought them i, I must have been not thinking uh, obviously i wasn't thinking but all right well i'm jabbering on i'm gonna get this head out Get these valves stuck in and get this head put on. All right, there we go. Heads are on. I'm calling it a day. I'm not hungry. Uh, I said I cleaned this side up pretty good. I said I cleaned this side up some. I used a super scraper on and carbide tip. To clean. It did scrape it, but it needs to be a little cleaner. It needs to be clean like that. But I'll, I'll throw some cardboard or something or stuff it full of rags right there when I clean it off. Uh, I have to get a cam bearing install and puller and installer tool, change the bearings in this in here. So until I get that in. Um, that's that's where I'll come back when I get that and we'll uh, install the cam. And uh, yeah, we'll install the cam. Timing chain will be in, thrust button. Uh, intake's coming in. I got a carburetor. Yeah. It probably probably ain't gonna need rebuilt. Um. So next next weekend, that's what we'll be doing, finishing up the whole top end. And I, I gotta put the oil pump in still, and get the oil pump, the oil pump rod in there. So with this one, I'm uh, I'm going home, getting something to eat.